What's good YouTube, it's your boy Sky Jordan here in this video today I'm going to be talking about some Wave V12 problems that I have right now I just find it very weird that it only affects my Pro Tools The worst find is Studio One, the worst find is Logic As you know, My plugins are upside down in Pro Tools They work perfectly fine in Logic But when it comes to Pro Tools, it's tripping I'm going to fix it, like I know I like I know what to do to fix it But I'm going I'm to fix it, alright So, I'm going to show you just so you know I'm not capping. Come on, show me. I'm show gonna show, show you that show you the V12 and Logic. Show me that they so work the V12 logic, right? plugin is the really show like the best thing about it. Logic. Like, look at this. You can just change the size, make it small, everything. Same thing like for the studio, right? Make it bigger. Make it like 200% big, depending on your screen. You know, all that good stuff. You know, make that small if you want. You know, make it bigger if you want. You know, cool, right? Cool. All right? All right? So, that's fine, right? That's perfectly fine. But the problem we're going to have is when I open up Pro Tools, right? Uh -huh. Oh, for that go, and I'm going to pull up. Which one? Smack Attack. Let me show you Smack Attack real quick. Uh, Smack Attack. Stereo. <laughs> My plugin is upside down. I can change the size and everything, but my plugin, it is upside down. You see this craziness? This is crazy. This is crazy, right? This is insane. Compared to what it looks like in Logic and they open up finding Logic, it's kind of like insane. Upside down, right? Torque. That's a V12 too. Upside down. Upside down. I'm going to show y'all something crazy. Some really, 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 really crazy. I'm finna pull up the studio rack. I'm finna pull up the studio rack. I ain't finna pull up the studio rack. Um, let's see. Hey, the studio rack is gonna turn every V11 plugin I got upside down. Like every single last one of them is gonna be upside down, right? So I'm gonna pull up this right here. So I gotta click down here. All right. Um, let's see. Because my wave tone red time is in a V12, right? But watch this. Watch this. Wave tone red time. Boom. Upside down. <laughs> this is the problems you can have. So if you got V12 plugins and your DAW is not really working right with them, you probably going to have to upgrade your DAW. You know what I'm saying? I'm not upgrading because I'm not going to no subscription-based Pro Tools, bro. I got... I got the perpetual license and shit. I can run 10, 11, and 12, bro. I'm not switching. It looks crazy. Like, it still works. Like, I can set this and everything. It's just, everything is upside down. Like, this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. Just so you know, there's no cap, though. Like, I can go over here and pull up ways to red zone. And you'll see it. It looks normal. So, I go over here. So, now it's normal. So now that's normal. I can take this out, go back into the studio rack, and look at it. You see the difference? <laughs> this is the V11 one, and this is the one that's upside down. This is <laughs> it going through the studio rack. And yeah, so I can make that bigger. Like you just see everything is upside down, right? Upside down. That's crazy, right? That's insane. That's insane. I'm just making this video to show you what can happen or what could happen if, yeah, I can show you. Like, I'm just showing you what <laughs> what's going on, right? Like, this is weird. This is weird, right? Very weird. But the thing is, like, I know what to do. All I gotta do is just. I gotta wipe the V12 plugin folder. I I gotta clean out the preferences. I gotta clean out the cache. I gotta like just restart, reinstall everything. That's basically what I gotta do. I, like I gotta get rid of every fucking Waze plugin, right? This don't make sense. Like I gotta get rid of every single Waze plugin, reinstall it, make sure I install the V11 versions of everything. Like I feel like Waze should have the option. So if you wanna downgrade it, you can downgrade it. You feel me? If you already own it, right? You can go down one, but you got to buy the upgrade up. Even if I had to pay like $10 to downgrade my shit, I would be cool with that. 
but I don't really like how they don't have the options for you to downgrade the plugin individually. They should. Honestly, I like I feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause if you buy a version, you should be able to get like the version underneath it, like the one that's most recent one underneath it, the current one. And if you want to upgrade it in the future, you just upgrade it. You pay the fee to upgrade it. Like that's that's just me. That's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? But you know, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? That's just me. That's just how I feel about it. But you know, this is an easy problem to fix. But I just wanted to share this with you because I thought it was weird, but it's cool. Because like, bro, like, <laughs> like it's upside down. <laughs> that's crazy, man. I would never. I did not expect this at all. All right, just let me know if you're having this problem because I just wanted to bring it to your attention just in case you did, just so you don't think you did nothing wrong. But it's just a weird little bug because it works perfectly fine in Logic, all right? But listen, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Scott Joy. I'm out of here, all right?